Tyler Dare. I'm 24 years old, uh, born and raised in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Uh, training in Calgary currently and focus on qualifying for the 2014 Winter Olympics and representing Canada. Well, my dream my whole life has been to compete for Canada at the Winter Olympics. From the time that I was three years old, I've been just wanting to go to the Olympics and represent Canada, and being able to do that would be just incredible. My dad was a member of the 1968 Winter Olympic speed skating team. He competed in the 1500 meter and long track speed skating where he finished 13th in Grenoble, France. My mom was also a speed skater. She was on the Canadian development team for long track speed skating but was also the Canadian national champion in short track speed skating. The family of athletes just feels normal to me. Uh, growing up with everybody, you know, rushing off to training. Uh, everyone's got different workouts to be at, different sports. So it's just kind of second nature to me, you know, just seeing everyone working hard and going after their goals. My success as a Manitoba speed skater is uh, holding every junior, intermediate and open men record. My greatest accomplishments internationally are finishing with a silver medal at the World University Games, as well as finishing top Canadian at the 2010 World Championships. At the short track Olympic trials, I was taken out on the second day with a concussion. I switched to long track in September, just looking for new opportunities in skating, and I knew I could compete and I wanted to go international. A typical day of training for me is getting up at 6.45, eating breakfast, out the door at 7.30, warming up at 8.00, at the Oval till about 11.30, then I eat lunch at the Oval, then I'll either go home for an hour or kill an hour at the university studying, and then it's back to on ice for another two hour training session before going home for dinner and then recovering and doing it all over again. I'm currently going to the University of Calgary. I've completed my first two years of my degree. Away from the Oval there's not much of a life. It's uh, eating and sleeping and just recovering. The obstacles that I face financially over the next four years are just being able to train at the level I need to and not having to fret about money every month. Uh, we're always trying to make ends meet. I'm training six hours a day, trying to take some classes, working part time. Financial support's crucial for when I have to focus for my training and my competition schedule. Well, my dad passed away when I was six years old, so I didn't get a great chance to know him or spend a lot of time with him. So throughout skating I've had many coaches and many of those coaches have all been coached by my dad. So in a way, my coaches is coaching me through my dad and it's been a way that I can hear stories about his coaching, I can hear stories about his skating and his life and sort of get a better understanding for who my dad was and how he did things. Me going to the Olympics would mean a lot for my friends and my family. They know the sacrifices I put in, they've sacrificed for me. Training in Calgary with all the different athletes has been great for me. Um, I never had a big team before, so going out there and meeting all these other great athletes and having them push me to a higher level has just been amazing. Uh, they bring out you know, the best in you and they push you every day to be better. I'm Tyler and I hope you get to see me compete at the 2014 Winter Olympics in Russia.